in this video we're going to be looking at a bleed build for remnant 2 and essentially this is a fantastic blueprint for you to start pushing into a heavier content more difficult content in the game all the footage that you're going to be seeing running in the background is from the veteran difficulty which this build absolutely demolishes but this also does give you the pieces that you need to start pushing into nightmare and apocalypse of course depending on the skill that you've accumulated while playing the game and essentially your knowledge of how the game works let's dive in for the sake of this build i will try to keep everything to sections so you can easily use the timestamps down below if you're looking for a specific part of the build only but what we are using here is essentially the alchemist and the gunslinger the reason for this being that the buffs that we get to damage from the alchemist as well as the gunslinger definitely suit the style of build that we're doing as well and we're also tapping into additional ways that we can increase our survivability as well as just make the build a little bit more difficult to kill on the alchemist side of course the highlights here is the fact that you can have additional consumables additional concoctions that you can have active on the build at the same time without the alchemist archetype you can only have one concoction on at a time but by using this one and leveling it to 10 you are actually able to have three additional of these concoction buffs available this is of course super super awesome because this means like for example we can use something like a dark side over here which gives us additional health stamina and movement speed we can use something like root water which gives us additional regeneration we can even give ourselves additional experience gain but the bottom line is you're able to have four of these buffs up at the same time and they also last for two hours at a time which is really really useful especially when you're sitting down and doing long sections trying to finish entire worlds and when it comes to the actual skill ability that you use with the alchemist I uh, would consider using Frenzy Dust if you want to get as much damage as possible out of it. And that's because Frenzy Dust actually gives you more fire rate, reload speed, and movement speed. So essentially makes you be able to position on the battlefield a lot faster, but you're also just able to shoot a lot faster. And that means that you can get your bleed stacking on enemies a lot quicker. Of course, in situations where you're fighting a boss, uh, something like Elixir of Life is also really good because this basically means that you cannot be uh, dropped. You cannot take fatal damage and you have all of this additional health regeneration so as long as you stand within the pool you are good to go now our secondary archetype is the gunslinger which is just going to give us a whole bunch of additional damage uh, alongside the alchemist giving us this liquid courage perk over here which is just 25 increase to all damage and a little bit of critical chance we also have the same thing on the gunslinger side where we have an increase to fire rate an increase to range damage and another critical chance increase now we'll see that we're trying to also stack as much crit chance as possible because the amulet and the rings we use also capitalize on that now when it comes to the skills itself uh i think quick draw is really good if you're just grinding out like the level itself uh, this allows you to dispatch a whole bunch of enemies in front of you with quite a lot of ease and then of course we also have bullet storm here which is my you know choice when you are pushing bosses or enemies that are a little bit tougher because once you drop frenzy dust and bullet storm at the same time you have this insanely high fire rate and as long as enemies are bleeding and taking damage from the bleed you're also doing more crit damage to them and more critical damage uh, is that's really going to start stacking up on these enemies moving us over to our items and starting with our armor first the exact configuration that i choose to run here is the leto mark ii helmet the cultist duster the realm walker pantaloons or pantaloons and the leto mark ii gloves what this does is it keeps us right below the weight of 50 which means we have a normal dodge with a 25 percent stamina cost you know penalty it gives us a huge amount of armor here sitting at around 40 percent uh damage reduction and it also gives us some pretty good resistances here as seven six seven eight seven now this means that when we look at the advanced stats over here and we're going to look at some other things which actually add to this but we are going to start going over the 50 percent damage reduction which is really really good and actually helps us you know sustain some of the damage phases that we see in bosses and actually just take one or two more hits than you generally you could now you'll notice that i have the four buffs running at the top here right now and this is just to also show you what this build looks like when you have your four concoctions drunk and you're essentially pushing content now the four as i've mentioned that i've chosen here is dark cider i've chosen root water i've chosen chilled steam and i've chosen bark extract that gives me more armor it gives me movement speed and it actually gives me more health regeneration so all in all you're just super super tanky with this build as well and one of the things that's important to know about bleed builds 
is that the idea is actually that the bleed is the star of the build and does a lot of the work for you one of the things that i like about this build is that you're able to load your bleeds up on an enemy and then concentrate on avoiding the attacks and staying alive while the bleeds do a lot of the work for you now in cases where you actually want to do damage you also can because this build is very very good at capitalizing on the fact that enemies are bleeding and then dealing more damage to them because of that now of course the main enabler for the build the star of the build if you will is the merciless long gun and this is essentially the weapon that causes the bleed just by you shooting enemies on it now the reticle of the weapon will have these two sets of teeth two teeth at the top and two at the bottom and as you hold down the button and shoot these will start closing in and when they reach the let's say a middle point of the gun it will proc and this will essentially apply the bleed so this is the first way in which you can apply a bead with this weapon or well with this bolt secondly we have the modifier down here which is the twisting wounds one now this essentially gives you another way as soon as you level it to level 10 to drop a second bleed onto enemies and this is actually the way in which you will most likely apply your bleeds very easily and very fast meaning that you don't actually have to sustain fire on enemies and you can essentially just hit them and as soon as you actually crit or hit a weak spot which is super easy i mean on just normal enemies you just hit them in the head and that's it it's good to go that's going to apply a bleed as well now what's important to notice here is that you can actually double dip in this and you can have two bleeds running on the same enemy at the same time and that is where the real power of this build comes from now in the melee slot i'm using edge of the forest this is just you know for if things get a little bit dicey and stuff come upon uh, come upon you and are close you can actually deal with that situation this has relatively high damage i have not leveled up the mod with this at all uh generally speaking i don't really do the melee fighting style so i'll rather back off and shoot from far away but this does give you some options and it's a pretty damn sweet katana in our secondary slot in our handgun i'm using the enigma the enigma needs no introduction i think it's very well known in the community it is a phenomenal weapon for dealing with you know trash ads and a whole bunch of enemies you know essentially charging you down due to the fact that it arcs in between these enemies and once you reach a certain threshold with the lightning it causes like an aoe pulse that essentially just melts everything now if you combine this with the mod harmonizer this is going to increase the mod damage meaning the secondary fire of the enigma and actually make that deal a whole bunch more damage now the secondary fire of the enigma is of course called chaos driver and this essentially lets you drop these rods into the ground and basically block enemies off and as soon as they come walking through that they're going to take a whole bunch of additional damage don't re you know sleep on this this is pretty good on some bosses as well but in general this can really help you to lock down a certain area and kill any trash that decide to walk across it then moving us over to our jewelry the amulets and the rings that we use for this build i would say the other star of this build is absolutely the abrasive whetstone this couples incredibly well with the bleeds that we're already putting on enemies and this gives us additional crit chance against enemies that are bleeding our 15% and then additional crit damage of 30% as well and this is the reason why I said that this build while your star here is bleeding and you can concentrate on moving around the battlefield and everything while everything around you bleeds to death the point is when you do decide to ramp as well and maybe you get into a safe position where you can shoot from you can actually download a huge amount of damage onto which enemy enemy you're shooting just due to this additional damage that you're getting now this coupled with the probability cord in our first ring slot which gives us more crit damage another 30 percent is how you're able to really really hit some huge numbers on enemies that have bleed ticks on them now the rest of the rings here is really dealer's choice but again my my decision here was to try and either improve the quality of the bleeds that we're getting or improve the survivability of the build so that we can stay alive longer while those bleeds are doing the work so in the first slot here well let's rather say the second slot after the probability cord we have the lithic signet this just reduces all incoming damage by five percent so basically this is five percent damage reduction and stacks up nicely to what we're already getting from all of our armor pieces and this is one of the ways how i'm able to get closer to this 55 here that we see 
then we also use the timekeeper's jewel because this increases the duration of all status effects applied by the wearer now this duration depends on status but we're of course applying the bleed status and this almost doubles the amount of time that the bleed ticks on the enemy now, you can of course always quite easily reapply the bleed ticks in this build but this is a fantastic ring to have on because it gives you a lot more time and a lot more flexibility while you let these bleeds tick away then last but not least i use another survivability item here called the ring of the robust which increases us 10 additional hp but also gives us another 15 armor which is further on increases our damage reduction now i would say the two ones which are swappable in here for more damage if you're doing less difficult content or maybe if you're much better at playing the game than i am is you can absolutely take some of the survivability stuff out like the lithic signet or like the ring of the robust and you can put stuff in that increases damage to status enemies or increases range damage anything like that which is just going to increase your overall damage profile by a huge amount then our relic before we move over to traits i'm using the resonating heart here because this gives me a 50 percent max health regeneration over five seconds and then any overhealed health that you get after that is essentially doubled and given to you over the next 20 seconds which is an additional regeneration wave so just a huge amount of additional health regeneration here and as long as you're good at avoiding damage that will most of the times top you up at least twice uh, after sustaining some damage now our shards on here are basically the ones which you know i i think when it comes to the relic fragments that you can use here of course additional elemental damage even though bleed is not really an element in this game it is considered an element and therefore any additional elemental damage that you put on your character is actually going to increase the quality of your bleeds and actually make them tick for more so elemental damage on here is solid you can also just put more ranged crit on here and ranged crit chance this means that those crits that you're getting from the combination of rings and amulets that we have as well as the additional damage as you're getting there is just further on accentuated now the quality of your build is going to increase as you get closer to mythic shards as as you get better relic shards later on i'm still stuck on solid and i'm busy grinding my way up but uh, you know this will actually just increase the quality of your build as you keep upgrading these then as mentioned last but not least let's go ahead and check out traits of course we're getting ammo reserves from the gunslinger and we're also getting potency from the alchemist so that's those two already done and dusted then with the rest of our points the first one i suggest you to pick up is regrowth regrowth gives us additional health regeneration and this coupled with all of the other things that we're getting from the consumables the concoctions we drank everything means that we have a relatively high base health regeneration value so if you are taking small amounts of hits from enemies and everything like that this is not something you have to worry about healing because if you just avoid combat a little bit then you're actually just going to heal that you know full and it's going to be no problem the next one which is absolutely super good to pick up is swiftness because you know being faster on the battlefield means that you can get out of dangerous situations you know quicker plus you can also just cover areas on the map a lot faster which means that overall you know you're spending less time just you know jogging like a buffoon from you know a to b this gives us 15 percent at level 10 the next one obviously vigor gives us 30 additional max health at level 10 so absolutely pick that up and then uh, you're getting some random ones here in spirit and expertise box skin is also really really good because this gives us another 10 percent of damage reduction and again is part of the equation here to getting us near to 50 percent damage reduction and then last but not least i do also pick up fitness this increases the evade distance by 30 percent meaning when you dive roll out of the way you get 30 percent of additional distance out of the evade unfortunately this uh this doesn't necessarily make it that you have a huge amount of additional iframes or something like that but the point about this is that this can oftentimes help you in situations where a enemy charges you down and it make maybe creates an aoe when they hit the ground right on top of you this can oftentimes get you out of the range of that aoe and this is one of the reasons why this is just really really good you're gonna after putting everything in the way that i have it here you're gonna be left with three points and those three points i've just gone and stuck into uh, endurance here just giving me nine additional stamina overall and that right there is the build thank you for watching i appreciate you go ahead and let me know in the comments down below any other improvements that you would consider making to this build i'm sure just like any other build out there it can be made better 
and i'm definitely open to the suggestions go ahead and give this video a like if you found this information useful in any way also consider subbing to the channel if you're looking forward to future content like this for remnant 2 i'm now starting to get to the point where a lot of my archetypes are reaching level 10 so i can start checking out different builds and i'll be bringing a whole bunch of these to the channel but other than that it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world till next video fucking cheers